there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating our DIY crackle effect. Now this is something, a technique that I used to use uh, and I still use in teaching a lot. I am a primary school teacher and just because there are not many ingredients to this, this meant everything was kind of readily available and I had everything on hand. Now this is kind of everything I'm going to use. Some white paint, some PVA glue and then I prefer to have it on some kind of darker um, background. So I have some black cardstock here. This one is the Lawn Fawn, um, I think it's called Black Licorice cardstock and this is just the black that I buy. But you could also use uh, any paper pads and it doesn't even have to be uh, black. I mean dark blue, it could be kind of dark greys, but you should try it on everything because if you have like even a green background, it's going to show through beautifully too. So it just depends what you're kind of after um, and the look and how kind of um, stark you want the difference to be um, that's going to pop through with the background. Right, so let's get started with this super easy technique. Now, I'm just putting down a couple of pieces of scrap paper here just so that I don't get this all over my desk. I'm going to show you a few different ways to do this and I'm going to show you a few different results that you can get. I am starting off with an old paintbrush, one that I care little for, I guess. Uh, it's kind of my just do all the techniques with. And then I have plain PVA craft glue. So this is just cheap and cheerful. This is actually my kids one, a massive bottle. And I am just going to pop some on my background. I put a little too much here on um, <laughs> one piece. So I'm just going to move it over to the other piece. But I'm just doing a couple of different here, a uh, couple of different pieces just to, you know, do a couple at a time. Um, but all I'm going to do is spread the glue around on your background. And I like having quite a almost heavy layer of it. I mean, I like a bit of glue on there. <laughs> um, you don't want it to be kind of like, you know, not very much and just so that you can barely see it. I pop a bit on. It doesn't really matter how you pop this on. Um, I tend to cut these pieces down, so don't worry about the edges that much. Now, you can either use white acrylic paint or white gesso or a mix of the two. Now, you don't have to use white. Of course, you can put any color on here. I prefer white, and I'll show you why in a minute, but you could literally put green, blue, anything, any kind of acrylic paint on top. Now, I'm kind of just popping this, you know, here, there, and everywhere, and I actually want the texture to be all sorts of bitsy. You can see I'm actually making an effort to make sure it's kind of bitsy on top. Now, here are two finished ones. Once they are all dry, that is all you have to do to them. So just the glue, then the paint. And you can see I'm literally bending this around. Nothing's coming off. This is set perfectly. The one I'm holding at the moment is the one I did with white paint. The one now that I'm holding is the one that I did with white gesso. So that is kind of the difference in looks. I feel like the paint crackles a little bit more, but you can see why I kind of did all those tiny little, you know, bit bops with the paintbrush. This is what will happen if you don't do that. The one on the right is where I just smooth the white paint across from left to right and just really nice brush strokes. And the one on the left is the one that I did all the little, you know, bits and bobs with the paintbrush to make sure that it wasn't kind of a nice perfect surface. So I prefer the crackle that's kind of here, there and everywhere. But if you want a really smooth kind of nice crackle, then that's what you can do. Now these two are just extra ones that we just did before, but once they were dry. So this is also one that I did with some green paint and this kind of worked out really well as well. So I did this with some green acrylic paint and that's how it turned out. So all you need is a layer of white glue and then a layer of either, you know, a paint, any kind of paint and you're good. Let it dry and you're good to go. So now what can we do with this crackle effect? Well, this is something that I like to do. I like to put napkins or serviettes or paper napkins, whatever you like to call them, uh, over top of these. And I prefer to use the ones of mine that have some white background to them. And that way it gives the chance, the crackle effect, a chance to kind of show through as well, rather than just covering it up. So I have these three here and these all have, I mean, this one that I've got at the moment has the least amount of kind of... Um, white space but when I fold it out you can see that if I use kind of the middle part there there is a bit more uh, white space that I could use as well. 
Now I do love these gorgeous big orange flowers on this one, but I felt like it covered up, just because in particular I'm trying to kind of show you this technique, it covered up a little bit too much. So I'm going to use one of the other ones to kind of show you an example. So this one here clearly has a whole lot of white space and I only need one quarter of this um, that is going to cover up the card that I'm going to make. It's going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, card base that I use for this card. Now remember these serviettes have another layer with them as well. So make sure that you peel off, they'll either have one or two of those extra layers that you need to peel off. And this is just the way that I do this. As I said, I'm sure there are lots of other ways, but I'm just going to use the exact same glue that I used before. And I like to have a really thorough layer underneath. And I just use the same paintbrush that I used before, spread it out all over. And this is why I kind of do it on a scrap piece of paper because I tend to get glue everywhere. And then I pop my serviette down, my napkin down, and then I start pretty much from the middle with a little bit more glue. I like to give a layer of glue over top. I feel like it seals it in really nicely and I know that the serviette won't rip or get damaged. Um, but I guess if you don't want to, you could just kind of make sure you get really good pressure all over um, with the glue and really good contact with the glue underneath. But I have just gone right to the edges and we'll come back to this one in just a minute. Now obviously you can see the crackle through uh, the white space in the serviette or the napkin and if you want it to be a little less dramatic, obviously here I have done a black background with white so it's pretty it's pretty um, prominent but you could use if you use different colors like a gray um, background and then white on top of it it might be a little less so but another way to kind of calm it down is to give it an extra layer of that tissue backing so I prefer to do the layers separate rather than just um, you know like I prefer to pull the layers apart and then do them one by one rather than just putting the whole thing on I feel like um, that way I can kind of guarantee that they're not going to pull apart at some point I just feel like that's kind of my security <laughs> but you can add more layers of the tissue paper and that will kind of reduce the background noise now here is where I had one with the blue uh, I used a blue acrylic paint over that one so you can do it over anything and then this one here is the dried one that we just did a minute ago so the blue looks pretty cool too I actually like that quite a lot but for this one, I'm just going to trim this down. I'm just going to pull the excess off a little bit. And I prefer to use the um, guillotine style trimmer here just because I don't want, um, if I had the kind of blade trimmers, I don't want to drag the napkin. I don't want to risk dragging the napkin. So for this one, I just prefer this style of trimmer. But that's a personal preference kind of thing, I guess. Um, and this one is the 8.5 inch Tim Holtz trimmer and I do love this one. I think this is the perfect size for me and I don't have space to kind of have multiple versions of this one so this is the one for me for the moment. I've used some double sided tape to pop this down onto a little bit of gold mirror cardstock. I just feel like it needed to be um, a little bit kind of lightened up and add a little bit of sparkle and shine to this background. I've cut this down to be the panel down to be I think it's three and three quarters by uh, four and a half inches. Um, so I've cut it down to be kind of a small focal panel on my card base. And so there are lots of fun things that you can do with this technique, with the crackle technique, and you pretty much get a different kind of look every single time you do it, but it's really fun to play around with different colors, different colored backgrounds to start off with, but, um, and I don't really know the super science behind it, <laughs> but I just, it's very easy, some white uh, craft glue, and then either some sort of white acrylic paint or some gesso over top, and just let it dry. The gesso or the paint, sorry, doesn't kind of mix into the glue. You don't want to mix them together. You kind of make sure they stay separate and they kind of do just layer on top of each other even when they're both wet. Um, but yeah, so fun technique to try and I'm sure you have everything at home to try it. I have the Paper Rose uh, All Occasions Sentiment Set here. By the time this card makes it up to YouTube, this card has already been sent out to the recipient. Um, so I, it was a perfect little get well soon card for a friend of mine. And I'm going to pop the sentiment here just on a little bit of that gold cardstock leftover scrap as well, 
just and that ties in kind of the border a little bit more now I just was figuring out where to pop it I really like a nice small sentiment because the background really is the feature here so I'm going to pop this over to the side I'm not even going to pop this on some foam tape I just want it to kind of sit nice and flat and the card is going to be mailed so I know I have no problems there and this is pretty much it really simple but a fun technique to try out if you end up trying this technique then I would love to see your results or the cards that you create and our Facebook page is a fantastic place to go and do that I would love to see your creations uh, so our Facebook page is called come crafting with Natasha there's a link to it in the description box below this video or you can just search it on Facebook but other than that there are a few more bits and pieces down below here and um, how you can help us out on YouTube. Other than that, I hope you have enjoyed learning about the DIY crackle technique and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye!